if on the new album when y'all come to a spot where y'all have a song and Lewis likes the way one thing sounds you like the way another thing sounds <laughs> Craig might like something else. Who wins that battle? Who? Uh, <laughs> all right, play that for me. Play. It. All right, you recording? I was recording. Okay. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to let y'all know. I told him about y'all. About how y'all always late. They always like two hours late. I, 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 in my confession, I had to come put y'all. I had to put y'all up under the bridge. Yeah. You know, three heads, you know, two heads is better than one. Three heads could be better than two. But sometimes three heads can bump heads. <laughs> In my defense, I'm not late. You're I'm just late. riding with him. <laughs> In my defense, I show up to his place on time. And he takes two hours to come downstairs. <laughs> Let me see, working with Craig. Um, working with Craig, uh, so uh, that's, I've been hearing this for, for like the last two years. Like, yeah. We've <laughs> like been we're, working together. Even longer than that. It's been longer than that. We've been, been working together like no, five years. It's been long. When we got separate cars, like when, when I'm driving and he's driving, they, we don't. Listen, Craig might be. No. Lewis, a little bit. No. But he's still late. Like, it's fun. You know what I mean? We have a good time because we're, we're friends. You know what I mean? We, we don't just sing together, we're friends. And honestly, and I tell people this all the time, Craig has the best voice that I've ever ever heard in my life. <laughs> but I, he might be the earliest of the late people, but it's still late regardless. <laughs> Look at, to your defense, like, oh, they not here yet? No, but y'all was both still supposed to be here like an hour ago. <laughs> like, it's like, he wants to show up, he wants to make an entrance. The recording process with him is, is always fun. You know, he he's always doing some crazy trick or some note that kind of like blows me away. And uh, I think we're the perfect combination. His voice is raspy, you know, my voice is, um, you know, clear. I'm a first tenor. So we blend very well together. We automatically know who's gonna go where, but it's fun. I did that. Uh, even today, like when I got I got here, we like, I think we were supposed to be here like a three, and I had got here like 410, and y'all still went. <laughs> See, 410, like, well, three. Like, they ain't here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what kind of. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a little boy, my daddy used to play like The Temptations and Sam and Dave and Marvin Gaye, Al Green, he used to play everybody. And I I love the way their music makes you feel. Like it's almost like they connect with your they connect so like they can they connect with you and they even if you weren't feeling that way in the beginning. By the time the song goes off, you feeling what they were feeling. I, mean, I tell you, being late is a chronic problem because Craig, we can be on time. Like Craig called me and say, we'll be there about 10, we'll, I'm gonna come get you about 10.30. He'll call me at 10.30 and say, well, I'm gonna be a little late because I'm stopping to get a smoothie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, but we gotta be there at 10.45. Like, why would you stop and get a smoothie? Lewis is a great vocalist. But I remember one time, <laughs> this one song, I can't remember the song right off. And he like, I wanna take that grunt out. I'm like, nah, the growl is it. Like, it gives you that feeling like, nah, I'm gonna have to do it every time I sing live. I'm like, listen, Lewis, you, I'm not taking it out. That's just, that's, no, you're just gonna have to sing it live or you're not gonna do the growl live. Like, well, they're gonna miss the growl. Then then they just gonna miss the growl and you're gonna have to do the growl. He's like, nah, but you, if you take it out now, then they never hear this growl. I'm like, no, Lewis, I'm not changing any vocals because you wanna be lazy later on when you sing live. <laughs> and say, so, not really lazy, but he says the growl is gonna really affect his voice, so I'll make him worse. But I'm like, the growl is on the record. I mean, I think being late is one of our, like, chronic. Yeah, it's bad, it's bad. That's why we can't share a hotel room. Because oh, we would no. never get to the uh, We would never get dressed. <laughs> like Jermaine was in the other room working. I'm like, you go tell Jermaine why you want to take this growl out, <laughs> out this vocal, even though the vocal is great. And if he thinks it's okay, then then I'll take this vocal out. No, 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 man. Why you playing? I'm like, listen, Lewis. <laughs> Lewis always tries to <laughs> tries to get over. So when he's trying to get over, I just pull the Jermaine card on him, and then he kind of goes quiet. He leaves me alone. The music is good because I, I, I like the music that we have today, but I miss the soulful, tear-jerking even connection that music um, 
can make you feel. I also miss the feel good music. Uh, it's just, just, just good, feel good, soulful music. I, I miss that, and I feel like uh, Lewis and I, I feel like we're we're old souls and young bodies. So uh, who else? Who else to try to bring it back? <laughs> who else better to try to bring it back? We've been working on this album for at least a year or more. And um, because we were, you know, life happens, but we will also record songs and then we record another song that we thought was better than that song and, or something would happen and we were like, oh my God, we got to go in the studio and record this. So, you know, the process, it took long because we wanted to make sure we had the right songs. We wanted, sure, wanted to make sure that we had the right message. You know, there was so much that we wanted to say. We didn't even get a chance to say it all on this album. But you know, we'll, we'll get a chance to tell you know more stories later, but it was just a never, end. and we had to make ourselves stop. You know, we could have kept recording, you know, because there's so much to talk about. We've, we, we've gone through so much and we've experienced so much. So you kind of like have to cut yourself off and you have to kind of like, okay, this is the project. We are going to release this project. These are the songs, you know, I want to record a hundred more songs, but we're going to go with these. And um, I think we picked really, really solid records.